A court diagram represents flows or connections between several entities. Origin provides two built-in templates to create chord diagrams. The chord diagram shows both the in and out links on the graph, while the chord diagram with ratio combines the incoming and outgoing links into one to show on the graph. Look at the two graphs. They are plotted from the same data and show the switching behavior between phone brands by the Dutch in 2019. The right one is a chord diagram and the left one is the chord diagram with ratios. We can see in the graph on the right there are in and out links between other Android and Samsung, while the links are combined as one in the graph on the left. Let's explain the chord diagram further. The circle is split up into four brands. The node length is scaled to the current brand's market share. End tick labels show the percentage of the share pre-brand. The links, or chords, between the nodes visualize the switching behavior of the respondents between brands in both directions. The color of the cord shows which brand has been the net gainer. As we can see, in the node of Huawei, all the links are brown. That is, more users switch to Huawei than vice versa. The thickness of the cord between brands encodes the percentage of respondents that switched between two brands. Look at the links of Apple as an example. Fewer Apple users switch to or from other brands. More stay loyal to Apple. Hover over the link and a data hint will be shown to indicate the detailed in and out data of switching behavior. Chord diagrams in Origin can be created from two kinds of data arrangements. One includes three columns, label of start node, label of target node, and the link values. The other contains data in a virtual matrix. Each cell is the link value from row to column. For example, 0 0.0224 means 2.24% of users switch from Samsung to Apple. To create the chord diagram, highlight the whole worksheet and go to the plot menu and select the chord diagram option. Since in this case the row is the starting node, choose the data layout method link from row to column and set Y values as long name and X values as first column in selection. We want the chord diagram to reflect data after switching phone brands. Double click on the graph to open the plot details dialog and under the layout tab set ratio layout to be post mode. This is the basic chord diagram. We can customize it further. First, we can set the node to be wider and locate labels inside it. Then we can display the tick labels in percent values. Now we are going to adjust the rotate direction. Fill color is set to follow color of dominant node. This setting makes the color of the cords to reflect which brand has been the net gainer. Lastly, we can also change the color of the node in the node tab of the plots details dialog. Here I have prepared a color list I'm going to use. Next, we are going to show another example of creating a chord diagram, but this time from the three column data arrangement. Highlight the three columns in the workbook and choose from the plot menu to create a chord diagram. Open the plot details dialog to further customize the graph. Set the node wider, customize the node color, this time we will keep the labels to be outside the nodes, adjust the font size and rotation, etc.
Make the label to be closer to the node. Set the tick labels to display in percent values. Adjust the rotate direction. Please note that we can index the color of the links to another column value. However, we don't have another column value to index in this example. We will just index it to column B this time. This has the same effect as the setting Follow Color of Target Node. We can also hide small links so that we can focus on the main effects. Here, if we keep node order as none, it will make the node order to be the category order of the data. We're going to exchange the node of Huawei and other Android. Adjust the categories of column A, and the nodes are reordered as well. Finally, the Learning Center in Origin also provides more examples of chord diagrams. Double-click on the graph to open the sample, and each sample includes sample data and graphing instructions. Thank you for watching this tutorial.